Hello and what's up my friends, it's Thunder Bob here, and tonight we're going to be checking out some VR games. Uh, this is Purehead Arcade 2. Uh, this is not a brand new game, this has actually been out for a number of years uh, through different versions. Purehead Arcade was actually one of the very earliest VR games I can remember playing back in like 2016 for the Vive. I was one of the really early adopters of VR. I was playing this, uh, yeah, seven years ago. And then 2 came out maybe a year or two after that, and I kind of skipped over 2. It felt a little bit too derivative of the first game, and I like, I kind of didn't want to pay for the same game again just for new arcade games. Um, and then more recently I realized that they had kind of like a combined both of them together on the Quest, and uh, it's actually not too expensive. Uh, I'll have a 25% off coupon actually in the video description below. You can get this for about $10. And it's got something like 30 arcade games, like coin pushers, claw machines, all kinds of like, it's like having a Dave and Busters in your living room. It's pretty awesome. It's a little janky, a little rough around the edges at times, but the games that work, work really well. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the games I enjoy. We're going to go kind of room by room and just kind of look at everything. Um, and uh, we'll jump right in. Now there is multiplayer though. Um, when I looked here, there was no one currently playing. So don't expect to be able to just jump in here at any time. I uh, imagine there's probably like a Discord out there you might be able to get in with other players. Or there's options to host a match, so if you've got friends playing, or if you want to play with me, shoot, shoot me a message. I'm always looking for, uh, for people to play with. You can also do local, so you can uh, create a local LAN and then join by IP. So for example, if you have more than one headset in your home, you could game and have this running on the Quest headset directly. This is not running on PC VR. I do have that version also, but I really wanted to kind of show you what the, com the complete patch package looks like on the Quest. Um, the difference here is on the PC version, from my memory, there was like one big hall that just had, you know, 25 or so arcade machines. Here, they actually have it broken up uh, into specific halls. And they have, you know, that one has Shark Attack and Pro Defender and Music Miner and etc. Each of these has, you know, five, six machines. Um, you got a hall over here that has your bowling and your uh, coin pushers. You'll notice there's a lock on these and actually, uh, let's see if I still have it unlocked. I'll show you the trick, actually. There is a trick to be able to unlock all this stuff pretty easily. Over here are your toy grabbers. Let's go to the toy grabber room and I will show you. All of the doors without having to do uh, any of the like unlocking room by room. Like how it wants you to do it is you go to the first area, you get so many points and it unlocks the next area. You could just walk over to this, uh, this lighthouse over here. <laughs> And that just unlocked every room. So if you're stuck and you want to, you know, get to all of the rooms, which I think is kind of silly to make you unlock stuff. Like each room seems to be focused on a particular type of game, but it's like, what if I don't want to play coin pushers? What if I want to play like the shooting games? Well, I can't do that until I've unlocked, you know, seven rooms or whatever. So what we're going to do is just play through maybe one machine in each of the rooms, take a look at each of the rooms. Uh, I don't want to make this video be too long. And you can see uh, my daughter was actually playing this earlier. She loves the claw machines and she puts her prizes. She wins over here. So you might find them hidden all over the place in this video. She's been messing around with this. She's six years old and uh, is just getting into VR. I apologize if the audio here is a little bit too loud. Uh, Quest does not give you a lot of options for uh, muffling these sounds. It has a tendency to fall out though, just like real claw machines. Yeah, so those are the claw machines. You got like yeah, a good variety of them, your stars and, and whatnot. This is the one my daughter is playing. She'll probably be mad at me if I get any of these. Get the dragon. Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't think that's it. Maybe, no. Okay, I'm not going to spend forever on each of these machines. I kind of just want to give you a little taste of each one. Um, I wish, like, 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 all of these machines can be found. And I, it, it's kind of more impressive on the PC because you like you load it up, you get in the room, and you're just like, boom, arcade machines as far as the eye can see. And I'm assuming on the Quest version, they haven't broken the halls, probably for performance reasons. Um, 
meaning like you know the quest is running on on basically mobile phone hardware and to get all of this it's really a quick load time like each area takes like 10 seconds to get into um i played a couple of these already like this is a fun one i played this at dave and busters a bunch take my daughter there pretty often maybe not that often like I mean, you could two hand these and then like as you get more of them you kind of need to like aim it a little bit there you go come on get that last one okay and then it changes the coloring and everything this one's a lot of fun actually and, like, the time keeps going up the more you get. Some of these games actually feel like they last a little too long. Like, you know, when you're at an actual arcade, usually you get, like, 30 seconds. But, like, that time keeps going up every time I get to the new, the new page. And sometimes I'm like, I'm kind of done with this one already. And I'm assuming most of these are, you know, loosely based off of real arcade games. Like, you know, coin games, ticket games. There we go. And each of these do have a high score, which I'll show you at the end here. I'll probably actually be doing pretty decent on this one. And you can't just, like, if you put your hand there, it kind of, like, gives you an error. So I can't, you can't really, some of these you can probably cheese. But most of them, you actually have to legitimately try. Seven seconds, I'm not going to get this one. Oh, I had one more to get. So I got 66,000, which puts me, you know, in the top. There's Thunderbob, 599. And, like, look how many people are playing. Like, if you look at... Okay, you can just pick this up. Yeah, so it shows you, like, if I had friends playing this, my ranking among my friends, the global score. Look, someone... That's got to be cheating, right? How do you get, like, a billion points? Yeah. Uh, and... Yeah, so you could put in, like, let's say there's more than one person, you could put in a unique name for your local score, but it does just default to your account name. You can see Thunderbob there. Well, that's pretty cool. I also, this is one of my favorite ones uh, when I go to the arcade. I love, this is like one of those, um, <clears throat> um, piano games. Gotta get in the right position here. Ah, oh, I didn't register. That that's where this is a little imperfect because you don't have that tactile feeling. Like when you're in when you're in an arcade, it actually like bounces back and I can go really I'm good at this game in the arcade. But it's like I've put probably hundreds of dollars in this over the years at Dave and Busters and Game Time and whatever, you know, arcade I've been to with my daughter. Oh, I hit the I turned my view. And to have this, like, available in the home, it's kind of cool. Even though it's not perfect. It goes on for too long, though. I feel like most of these, in the arcade, I think it gives you 30 seconds total. And here, it's like, every time I'm getting a note, I feel like it's extending the time. see that bar on the right and left i'm not i'm not completely sure how the timer even works here because it's still going oh, I missed it. yeah let's see where i got on the leaderboard and you see whenever i I'm successful here. Whenever you do good, you get tickets just like a real arcade. And let's go look at what you can do with those tickets. Since I've completed my first kind of room here, I'm getting achievements as I go. Uh, there's a basketball game, and I don't know, this this tooth one, you're trying to throw balls and you knock the teeth off. Basketball one's kind of interesting because it's got the thing blocking you, which um, kind of makes it a little more complex. We're just going to keep moving. You kind of get the idea. And then this one, you're just throwing balls at uh, the different uh, guys there. Uh, there is also like a daily challenge, though. When I, when I, when I, when I, when I, 
it's there. So it's like, hey, play these three games. But the thing is, there's no one else doing it. So like, you're not going to be on a very uh, big leaderboard. Um, I got these tickets. Why am I not seeing them now? Okay, I got to click on it apparently. I got 265 tickets and nine stars. The stars are what you normally use to unlock if you weren't cheating like I am. Um, but you can totally come in here and you're like, oh, I want it's one of those thingamabobs. This is my daughter's favorite part about going to Dave & Buster's. Is we spent $50 and she walks out with $3 worth of stuffed animals. All kinds of stuff. There's uh, fireworks and like this stuff would make more sense if you're playing with other people so if you can convince your buddy to buy this or you can coordinate with people on discord you know you can play darts you got your little ring toss there you got remote control cars and helicopters and stuff kind of cool uh, but let's go ahead we'll just check out each of these rooms in turn and then uh, we'll call it a night all right here is hall number two and i've not gone yet i've probably played a dozen of, of these games so far my daughter's played a few while i've been watching her as well um some of these work better than others. Some of them, like, where you have to press the button and time it real well, I feel like is a little janky at times, where it's like, you gotta get the paint, or the, the balls into the paint things. And sometimes, I feel like I'm hitting this button, but my hand might be just, like, slightly off position-wise. But I just, I love these arcade-style games. I mean, I prefer, you know, like... Like, I've enjoyed these more since I've had my daughter. Um, she really enjoys getting the tickets and the tactile games where you're, like, using your hands and stuff. But I grew up in the arcades playing Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat and Time Crisis. And if you're into that stuff, I actually I have a, on the channel a video showing, like, how to set up a Sin and Light gun and, and things like that. Um, so the, I, I'm into that as well. And I've got a Legends Ultimate arcade. Like, this, I'm an, it's an all-around, like, big arcade fan. Um, I felt this was a little janky. I kept throwing it and it would go way too high. So you gotta be very careful on uh, on the uh, ski ball here, or as they call it, the rocket ball. Yeah, see like that, it didn't even roll. You gotta like really, the physics here are, and some of these games are better than others. I feel like this one uh, could be better. Yeah. You got baseball one here, you pull this back and you're, if you've been to Dave & Buster's, there's a, a million of those ring toss i'm kind of just trying to show you the ones that i find more interesting um they've got some that are kind of like first person shootery and like this one you can either use the crossbow or the crank thing Let's see if i i haven't actually used this crossbow yet so you got to pull this back each time which is kind of annoying But I mean, I'm holding this in my hand. It feels fairly realistic. Ah, missed the... Okay, let's see how this, uh, this one works. Did I just switch this? Yeah, so this one is like a cheat mode. Can I... Yes, okay, so one hand I can move it with, and then you're just shooting terrain this. That feels like kind of like, but it does have different scoreboards. So you got like, they kind of give you all the input methods. You know, there's a, in VR, there's a big like bow and arrow kind of thing. And each one has their own leaderboard. So like you're going against people using the same input method. Uh, let's keep moving to the next hall here. Yeah, so I haven't been in this hall yet. I have no idea what... what, what, what. pulled most of the games from the original Purehead Arcade, but I've only seen a couple from that game so far, so I'm like, I'm kind of confused. When I was reading, I thought this had everything. Oh, I love this game. Not very good at it, though. So you're like... It's going to get quicker and quicker each time. I have a feeling if I miss, it's over. These ones are fun in the arcade because they're usually, they're not just tickets. They're usually like, if you get to the end, you get a big prize. And it gets, 
exceedingly hard as you go. This is actually, I feel like the, the difficulty ramping, even though I just failed that quickly, the ramping of the difficulty there was kind of slow. And I am too close to my desk. That's where the teleport is nice. Let's see, how does this work? I don't know what this is doing. Press the button to release the ball. Time the release to advance the machine. Get all the way up to the top for extra balls. So they do give you like a little, oh, I see. There's a little stopper there. Yeah, I'm not really into this. I'm not feeling it. Okay, let's keep moving. We got another shooting game. Now you gotta like hold it down. That's really loud, I bet. I apologize. Bob, I'm in a thousandth place. Yeah, looks like another dropper game. Let's keep moving. I kind of want to check out each of the rooms here so you can get an idea. Of... I think um, for the amount of experiences you get here, the price is not bad at all. Just unlock all these. I think I've already been down this hall. And I did, yeah. Though. So that's all we got to do are those, and we'll we'll be all done. Yeah, so we just we just went in here and did alien invasion and stuff. Let's see what's this pearl splash pile up. If you use the coupon in the description below, you should get uh, twenty five percent off. It'll be like ten fifty, which I think uh, is not bad for what you're getting here. Like it's a huge number of experiences. If you're an arcade buff like me. Oof, I failed miserably. There you go. Uh, I find in, in VR, I like big, expansive experiences like Half-Life Alex, but sometimes, like, I just want to have, uh, like, a quick, like, 30-minute experience. Like, I, I find myself playing, like, the bowling game. Like, I've got some videos on the channel of that bowling game. Uh, you know, when I'm just, like, trying to unwind have a beer and I'll play bowling with a buddy. Um, and this kind of feels like that type of experience. Like it would be a really good like pass and play kind of game where it's like, um, you know, you and some buddies, you, you could, I have a Chromecast on my TV so I can just put this on the TV. That's what me and my daughter do when we're ever playing. So one of us will have the headset on, the other one's watching on the TV. It's kind of a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's mostly a single player experience, but it's also social because you're playing together. Oh, I love these two. It's gonna like cut it off. Oh, I should have started further that way though. I think they're gonna get smaller and smaller. Yeah. Is it? This is a weird one. I was thinking this. There's a one in Dave and Buster's like this, where it's like you drop it and you try to drop it perfectly because it cuts off any of the excess. But this is like. Kind of feels too easy. Oh, I see. There's some physics to it. That's going to lose. Ooh, how did that not? Oh. Okay. I'm, I feel like if they changed the mechanics there slightly, it would be better. Let's see. Is there a... Let's see. One player. 
Oh, I just squirted on myself. I'm actually not too bad at air hockey. My dad taught me. Yeah! Alright, so it's air hockey. Oh, you can totally cheat against the AI and just like, no. -uh. <laughs> they counted it. That's funny. You got a sumo bot. Okay, so you're controlling a bot, and what are you trying to do with it? You got a button. Oh, okay. So you're like, this is kind of janky. I'm not. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with it though. Do I just put it in the middle? Or am I supposed to actually like take it to the side? I can't find any way to like lift the ball up. Hmm. And there's a button. Oh, the button raises the hands. I got you. And then you drop it. Yeah, I'm not feeling that one. Let's keep moving. Like, like I said, there's 30 games here. They're not arcade. There's going to be some that you really dig. And some that just you're not as into. What have, oh, lights out. I love lights out. Okay, so these pretty much were all from the first game. I really like this one too. This is really cool. Though this one's slightly different um, from what I remember, but it's kind of the same type of game. So you're. God, I keep. I'm getting too close to the edge of my play space. So it's one of those ones where you, you want to get it not too hard. Oof, that was bad. Let's see if I can knock that one closer. Oh, that was going to be too bad. Let's do this again. It's nice that you can just reset it so easily. Oh. I can get this. I gotta get my hand positioning right. That's going to be too much. I used to be pretty good at this one on the Vive. There's like a very a finesse to it where you're just trying to get it just hard enough uh, without, you know, knocking it over. Lights out. This is a fun one. Ready. Start. And you're just tapping. You don't have to actually click anything here. I played this one. Recently, actually. If you touch a red one, I think you lose points. And I'm sorry, I don't have the external camera on. Usually I do with VR. It's kind of hard with the Quest 2. They don't give you good support for uh, integrating external cameras. And I hate trying to link up and sync the video and everything. This is not quite like the real game because I'm not actually like pressing. I'm literally just dragging my hand across them, which feels a little bit like cheating. Makes you be able to do this a little bit quicker. I feel like I'm getting some exercise though. And I am four, three, two, one. Bonus round. I feel like I'm gonna hit my TV. Over. Where am I at? Oh. I am in the. I'm at 158. Cool. And they have two machines here, obviously, so you could play two players. I like that. And I got uh, 500 tickets. Obviously, it just. Uh, smash the things. I'm a little winded already. And this one's, there's like a um, version of this with uh, Kung Fu Panda that I played in the arcade. Yeah. All right, let's keep moving. And that one is one of those ones where you're like, you're trying to push the thing and I hate those machines. I suck at them. I like the traditional coin pusher ones. Those, and we'll check that out at the end. 
But I don't want this to be like a two hour video. I want to just be kind of a 20 minute quick look at, uh, at the different available games. So those are the coin pushers. Let's go look at bowling just real quickly. I mean, if, I, if the physics feel like decent. Uh, I really like Forever Bowl, and I've got a video or two on the channel. That's probably my favorite VR bowling game. It feels so good. All right. It feels okay. Let's see if I can put a little spin on it. I'm going to, like, twist my arm and just see, because then Forever Bowling, it definitely lets you put, like, some, some spin on it. All right, all right, all right. Not good. That might be me though, not the game. And in, in that game, I totally like, I really do like take a step, walk, and then I just, I didn't mean to do that. Let's try that one more time. Did it count that? I didn't count that. I do need another ball though. I'm using a pink ball now. <laughs> Uh, let's go steal a ball over here. Uh, my name, Thunderbob, actually comes from my bowling abilities. Um, I have this particular bowling style where I throw it like really high and then it lands down and people are said like I, it was like thundering. And that's where Thunderbob comes from. I cannot, I cannot do it here. I think that's more me though. But it feels like there's not enough weight to it if that makes sense. Like forever bowling, I feel like it takes your throw, but maybe it like, obviously the controller is not heavier, but it kind of like, it feels more realistic. It feels like it's uh, compensating for the fact that there's no weight. Uh, we already checked out, oh, we didn't check out the coin pushers. Let's go in there. I love coin lose all your money so quickly let's see what kind of coin pushers yarn pusher no and this is kind of one of the problems with vr is i actually have a little coin pusher in my office here where i'm playing um and these coins are like so big i feel like you're not getting the true experience Let, let's try it out but let's see how does is it just a Okay, so I'm pulling the trigger, and then wherever that's pointing is where it's going to go. Do I get just one for one? Okay, okay so you can go off the side, which is not good. You kind of want to get all your coins, like, in the same spot. In real coin pushers, at least. Yeah, this is... It's just not a great approximation of how it feels, like, in reality. Um, it's not scratching that itch for me, I don't think. It's this one. I feel like I've got a... Because there's no coin thing there, so you probably... Where's the... I don't see how to start this one. Hmm. Oh, you put them up here. Oh, it's one of those types. It's like dropping a card. And then imagine you get the cards, you put them there and you get something. I mean, the fact that you get unlimited tokens kind of breaks this. Lagging a little bit. It did not like that. I'm two handing it. Give me everything! <laughs> what do I get? Insert coins into one of the coin slots, collect cards, and place them in the hole. Get a full set for a huge bonus. Yeah. Okay. 
That card is stuck. Huh. Okay. Coin pushers, they're okay. In this game. I love them in real life. So this one spinning, or not spinning, it's moving, you kind of can... Usually you want to kind of like try to stack them all up together. Okay, so that gives you the other... Yeah, so you want the middle. Eh. Let's keep moving. Because you're dealing with like these really small objects. My hands are yellow again. What is going on there? It's weird. Is it the, that they're like special lighting? Let's see, hall six, we'll go in here. Um, like making the coins bigger doesn't really resolve that problem in my mind. Okay, so here, these are more of the machines from the first game. So it does look like the majority of them are here. I can't, off the top of my head, I don't know if they're all here, but these were definitely some of the games I did enjoy. There was a cool zombie shooting one. Actually, I have to it. Can't Cool. Yeah. I could, if I could get some buddies to play this, I think this would be a lot of fun. Even, I'm talking in real life or, you know, on Discord or something. Um, you know, if you have two Quest headsets, like if I got another one for my daughter, it would be amazingly fun to come in here and, and you know, we're each on one side of the machine and we're just, I don't know. We, we love going to the arcades together, so having one in, in the house is kind of cool. Uh, I do have the Legends Ultimate too, so we play, you know, Ninja Turtles and stuff like that pretty often. Yeah, just a normal comet drop. Another one of those. Yeah. Let's keep moving. Just got one more room, and then I'll kind of give my final thoughts. Base. I feel like that is the only negative so far is in Purehead Arcade 1 on the PC, it was like one, 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 one. it wasn't like, oh, I gotta go to the other room. It was just bouncing from machine to machine. This is the one that was in the old, the old game, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. It's the same kind of like, yeah, with the penguins. I played a lot of this game back in the day. All right, it's easy to start over. That's the nice thing. Get my hand positioning right. All right, one more. All right, we're done. Let's get that game. That game sucks. Uh, this is basically like a really cheesy version of Silent Scope. I was messing with this one earlier in the daily challenge. I did not. It, it wasn't really... I don't know, like, my brain couldn't link up. I'm not good at silent scope normally, to be honest. But in VR, it's even harder. Maybe it's your thing, but, yeah. Ooh, I don't remember this one. Three, two, one. Thinking one out of 100. gun. 
Okay. So it's almost like a duck hunt, but with animals, with the uh, werewolves and stuff. I was kind of hoping it would be like a real, like imagine you come in here and there's just like a time crisis machine. That would be awesome. I actually have played Time Crisis on my Sin and Light gun with Bad Osera, if you're interested. How, why does it keep saying one out of a hundred? Is that, I, I don't understand. I don't know if I was doing that right or not. I wish that sound would stop. That's kind of annoying. Like, it doesn't want to end. Let's see, ostrich run? Oh, that's kind of cool. Trying to get the red one. I'm not sure how the scoring works here. second place hmm. another shooting range this is definitely from uh, the original pure head arcade and like a tic-tac-toe cannonball bounce yeah. it's definitely a cool uh, experience we're just gonna bounce out to the main room here we've got, 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 got claw machines um, I'm a huge arcade fan like if you're if you're into the arcades, uh, for $10, this is kind of hard to beat. You can play this on the Quest, get the 25% off. This is also available on uh, the Oculus Store and on Steam for PC VR if you have preference for that. Though I feel like this is a pretty reasonable approximation of that PC VR. Like, I don't feel like they cut any corners. It's for the most part the same games. Uh, it is kind of spread out, which is a little annoying, but you know, nothing I can't deal with. Um, I get a, all your trophies come here. That's cool. Um, I could get some prizes now. And look, so now I could just, if I want that back, I don't have to pay for it again. So that's nice. I, I have 600 almost. Yeah, I can't get any of the cool stuff yet. So I'm not going to waste. My daughter is going to be mad at me if I spend all of her points. So I'm going to end it here. Um, if you're into the arcades, Demon Busters, Ticket Machines, Coin Machines, those, those kind of games, I feel like uh, you can't you know do wrong in this game. It's 10 bucks. It's a lot of fun. If you can coordinate with some friends or you have some friends over on a Friday night, put it up on your screen on your Chromecast, have a nice party. It's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, if you want a discount, Check the description of the video below. You can get 25% off. I'll get a little kickback. Let me buy more VR games to share more stuff. If you like this, I do have a lot of VR stuff on the channel. Feel free to check it out. I do want to thank you one more time for watching, everyone. And have a great night. My hand is still yellow. Yeah.